Many of us will have heard of Morse code, but what really is it? In this video, we'll answer that question and explain a whole lot more about what Morse code is, how it works, and where it was used, and where it's used today. In fact, all you need to know. So stay tuned for some really fascinating information. Morse code is a really important form of code, and it's essentially an early form of digital or data code used for sending messages. So you may think it was ahead of its time, and in many ways it really was. The Morse system has been in use since 1844, when the first demonstration line was set up between Baltimore and Washington DC in the USA. This makes it one of the oldest electrical data codes, and it's still in use to this very day. Morse code keys or turns a signal on and off. It's this simplicity that gives it many advantages. Each character is made up of a series of long or short on periods. These can be built up to make characters and then messages. Originally, Morse code was used with wire telegraph systems. A Morse key with a battery was used at one end, and when the key was pressed down, it caused a current to flow in the wire, and then at the far end, a sounder sounded and the message could be read. Here's an example of a Morse key from around 1860, and you can see it looks very similar to many of the basic or straight keys of today. But it must be said that today there are some electronically based keys which make high speed sending very much easier. As I said, the early keys were used along with sounders so that the messages could be read. This particular sounder dates from around 1895. Then, when radio was invented, Morse code was ideal for sending messages over the air. It was much simpler to turn a transmission on and off than to modulate it with a sound. Also, Morse code signals could be copied at much lower signal strengths or when there was more interference around. This was one of the reasons Morse code was used for carrying all sorts of radio messages. As a result, it was not only used for carrying ship-to-shore messages, but also for military communications, especially in the Second World War. Now, with other digital or data codes generated by computers being used for many forms of resilient, high-speed data communications, Morse is used in relatively few areas. Mainly a few select groups, including radio amateurs, but it's still a very effective form of communication. Looking at the code itself, it consists of a, a number of what are called dots and dashes. One dot is one unit long, and a dash is three units long. A space between adjacent dots and dashes in one character is one dot length. The spacing between letters is three dot lengths, and the spacing between words is seven. It's really important to keep the lengths and spacings all correct, as this makes the Morse code very much easier to read. The Morse alphabet was designed so that the more common characters were made shorter and easier to send. For example, the most common letter in the English language is E, and in Morse this is made up from one dot. This type of logic was applied to the whole of the code. The whole alphabet can be seen here, with the various combination of dots and dashes for the various letters and numbers. And then we can hear what the alphabet sounds like. So if you want to find out more, please head over to the description area where there's heaps more information about Morse code, including a table of characters. 
Also, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.